What's up, you guys? We're not even gonna acknowledge the fact that this curl keeps flipping under, okay? That's where I'm at right now. What curl? This thing, it's been flipping the way it's supposed to flip, just like this, up until I sat down to film. It's rude. Delight. And I will not tolerate it, but I don't have time to deal with that right now. Anyway, you guys, today I'm gonna be doing um, some of my, it's like a little bit of a mix, you know? We got a little bit of hot new-ish. I don't think I can curse anymore on YouTube, so we're calling it hot new-ish. Two makeup things that I really wanna talk about that's new that got me really, really excited. And the rest of this stuff is kind of current obsessions. Things that I'm loving, things I'm like, give it to me. Um, I'm all dressed up, which normally I'm not this dressed when I film because I'm going to um, an event tonight with Chloe. She's hosting a Friendsgiving with Pixie, so we're gonna be going to that in a little bit and I can't wait because I'm super hungry. I've heard they're feeding us Thanksgiving dinner. Is it really Thanksgiving That's dinner? I will die. I will be so happy. <laughs> All right, first thing I wanted to talk about, I know so many people are excited about this, myself included. This is the Tati Beauty new palette, her first palette from her new brand that she created. And congratulations, Tati, this is major. Really excited about it, very excited to receive PR. Thank you for sending it to me. It came in a beautiful box with a handwritten note. Very, very sweet. Let's talk about this for a second. So, first of all, I personally am not a huge fan of giant makeup palettes. It's like not something I typically reach for. It's not my thing. This is, I feel like as large as I'm comfortable with, like taking with me to travel. But what I really appreciate about this palette is how slim it is. I feel like it is a very slim profile. It's sleek, it feels nice. I like that she did the soft touch packaging. I don't care that it gets dirty, whatever. Um, I'm actually not very messy. Like I'm not like, you guys know I don't go crazy dipping in my brushes and get stuff all over the place. I'm pretty neat when it comes to my makeup. But anyway, <laughs> what? Specifically makeup. Specifically out, makeup. Outside. John! Yeah. I really like the mirror in here and the mirror is something that I wanted to talk about because I appreciate the fact that it is a very crisp mirror. A lot of times, mirrors and palettes can be very distorted. Uh, I don't know if you guys have ever noticed that, but sometimes mirrors are just like, you're like, why do I, I look a little wide. It's like, it's just distorted. And this one, it's not distorted at all. It's like a high quality mirror. I mean, I also think mirrors are weird in general, like the technology, whatever's going on in there, very strange. You see me? Is that too much? That's pretty accurate. Is that too much inception? And then you open it up inside. I've used this palette twice already. You probably wouldn't even be able to notice because I am not aggressive with my brushes. <laughs> this one is, something different, which I really like in the fact that it has, how many different formulas? Four different formulas of each color, which I thought was really cool. Because a lot of times, you know, if you're dipping into a palette, you're doing a look or whatever, sometimes you want just a monochromatic look. Uh, often myself, I like to have a monochromatic look. I want to do a matte crease, maybe throw a shimmer on the lid and keep it all in the same color family. Sometimes that, that's hard to do in one palette. So I think that that's a cool thing to have in here. I appreciate that. When I looked in here, when I saw this row, I got pretty hype. Like these shimmery, dark uh, colors, I got really excited about. I think the neutrals in here are really pretty. Soothe and Ritual are definitely like my jam. This one's, for me personally, what I like to wear, yeah, it is pretty warm toned for me, but I know this is a very popular color story. Aura, I have worn, really, really love it. I love a soft pinky peach color. And Poet, when I saw it in here, I was like, okay, that's a pretty like berry tone. But when you put it on, it is a bam. And I did a look, I'll show you guys the look that I did just for fun the day before Halloween, just kind of like playing around with makeup. I wanted to try out this palette. And I actually used a sequin formula to cut my crease. I just went straight in, put a primer on, went with a small smudger brush and just boom, cut a crease. And then I literally dipped my blending brush into the sequin poet, like a tap, and I blended out my eyeshadow with it upward. And I was pretty blown away. Now I did blend out the sequin formulas. If you want it to be super reflective and impactful, you're gonna wanna pack it on. I feel like I'm like in a office right now. Why? With the blazer on. I gotta ditch the blazer. Ditch the blazer? I'm dude. ditching the blazer, you guys. Sun's out, guns out. Sun's out, guns out. What are your guys' thoughts? How do you feel about this palette? Did you guys pick it up? I know it looks like I haven't touched it, but I have. <laughs> All right, you guys, next collection, OMG. When I first saw this on Instagram, completely blown away. I haven't felt this excited about a launch in a long time. Like this one, just was so well thought out and gave me so many feels. This is Melt Cosmetics' new collection. Um, this is their holiday collection. I would say the name, but I attempted to pronounce it on IG stories and I got made fun of a lot and it made me very 
insecure. Um, so there's that. <laughs> but this is Melt Cosmetics new collection. And I'm telling you, like just seeing it, looking at it, like I'm blown away. Look at this, this is all laser cut. This is not like printed. This is two different layers here. This is like a soft touch. And then this piece is on top of it. And I mean, this is something that like you just wanna keep forever. Look at this, it's gorgeous. And then when you open it up, Here's the collection on the inside. And this is a tribute to Laura's heritage, her family, her culture. If you guys haven't had a chance to go watch the video that they made on Melt's page, you should definitely go watch it. It's a beautiful story. Just talk about her family and how they came from Mexico. I just thought it was a beautiful story. I'm somebody like, I appreciate nice packaging. I don't necessarily always need it. You know what I mean? Sometimes it feels a little bit extra, but this is something that I'm like, damn, I can appreciate all the thought that went into this. Like when you look at the, uh, this is a highlight, the detail in this is so cool that it's a sleeve that goes on top of the products. Like, it's just amazing. Like I keep putting everything back in here because I'm just like, I already opened this and used it and I put it back in here. So, <laughs> so there's two palettes. They connect together like this. Um, this first one, Vita, you have all the rich like yellows, green, like some neutral tones in here and some like reddish orange, more like tangerine type uh, shades. Um, and then the other one, look at these colors in here. Like the color stories on both these palettes are insane. Like, I don't know how you could pick which one you want. You know, it's kind of like one of those ones, like I just gotta have them both. But I love the colors in here. You have like the aqua kind of like seafoam colors. It goes into really deep, rich blues. And then you kind of get those really pretty like berry undertone in here, but just so stunning. So this is what I'm wearing today. I went in with this color story here. That's what I have on my eyes right now. I started with this color here, cut the crease blended it out with this shade, and then I packed this one all over the lid, which was so easy to do. I was like in shock by it. Blown away by these palettes. Love them. I love the two different color stories here. I think it's so cool. And then you also have, which I forgot to wear this one today. I meant to wear it, their highlight. But look at the packaging in here for the highlight. It's got three liquid lips, a really bold pink, a really hot orange, which I'm excited to try out, and then a really, really vivid bright purple. Uh, and then we also have four of these, which are ultra matte gel liners in four different shades. I did use the black one tonight just for like a little, I didn't do like a full wing, just a line across the lid. Applied super easily, but I don't have like a full review on those yet, but it's got the same, if you look at the top, the packaging, so cool. And I love how the box matches each color. I'm really excited to try this color out. And then we also have this blue one here too. And the brushes are also insanely beautiful as well. They have this really pretty detail in the middle. Just everything about this collection is stunning. And um, I'm excited to play with it some more. I'm excited to play with a little bit more color. I kind of want to go like in this family and then add a pop of the tangerine. Like do these four shades here. You know what I mean? <gasps> You see that? Oh my God. I don't think I've ever seen a shade like this before. Anyway, so that is with the Melt Collection. I was just like, wow, I need to talk about this in a video and just talk about the level of appreciation. I don't know if Melt Cosmetics is gonna see this, but you guys killed it. And thank you for getting me so excited about makeup. Like when I see this collection, I want to play and um, it's beautiful. I, I don't know what else to say. I've said everything. That's it, that's it. So let's talk about hair products. So I recently got a bunch of new like shampoos, conditioners. I mean, I'm always on the hunt for some new stuff. And remember when I talked to you guys about this a while ago, I went really hard on Olaplex. I did the shampoo, the conditioner and the treatment and my hair dried out so much. So it was from the shampoo and the conditioner. I wasn't pairing it with the proper mask or something. I don't know, it was just a little bit too drying. I needed something more hydrating. So I was on the hunt for something else. And I've seen a lot of people talk about this brand, this specific shampoo and conditioner. Christy is one of them, Kathleen Lights, and Atlee on Instagram was another one. I actually asked her what she recommended and she sent me some good products too. So this is the Briogeo Banana and Coconut Nourishing Superfood Shampoo. So this comes in a set with the conditioner but I haven't actually used the conditioner yet. Like full, whatever, full disclosure, I haven't used the conditioner yet, but the shampoo is definitely giving it to me for hydration. The scent is very strong. It does smell good, but it's almost like a little bit too, like it's very strong for me, um, but it's not bad. I think most people love the scent, but it is like intense. Anyway, this is a really great hydrating shampoo. Be gentle, be kind. 
please be gentle and please be kind to my hair, okay? Because I over-proteined it. What do you want, hair? I try and I try and I try and I try to give you protein. Love this shampoo, I've been loving it so far. I wash my hair like once a week right now. What? Yeah. Nasty. Um, John said I'm nasty. <laughs> Whatever, you never noticed until now. You never noticed until now. So. One more time. You never notice until now. The next thing I want to talk about is a hair mask. This one from Kiehl's I ordered. So I wash my hair with the Briogeo shampoo in the shower. I kind of just like get a lot of the excess water out. Fully saturated my hair with uh, this Kiehl's olive fruit oil. Got out of the shower, let it soak in my hair for about 20 minutes or so the first time I used it and then went back in, rinsed, whatever, blow dried my hair. <sighs> My hair was so silky, it felt like I had never bleached it before. That's how like much of a slip my hair had. It was amazing. But anyway, this stuff is great if you're looking for that just hydration and that slip in your hair. I will say, be careful when you rinse it out if you're rinsing it out in the shower. Your shower floor will get so slippery. Like, it's crazy. I don't know if it's like, it's, it must actually be olive oil. There's like actual oils in here because it feels like somebody poured oil all over the shower floor. The first time I used it, there was almost a situation. All right, you guys, next thing that I'm talking about is a perfume. And this perfume is the only perfume that John has ever liked on me, right? I don't like the wording of that. <laughs> <laughs> I would say I'm also actually pretty sensitive to fragrances. Sometimes I'll spray something on me and I like the smell of it, but I feel like it starts to irritate me after a while or just starts to like feel heavy. I don't know what it is. But anyway, this one from YSL, oh my gosh. It is so good. I've been using it every day for the past maybe month. I've had people ask me what perfume I'm wearing, which normally doesn't happen for me. So this was like a pretty exciting thing. The fact that I haven't gotten sick of it, it doesn't irritate my nose or make me feel like sick, which sometimes fragrances do. John actually likes it on me. It's just really, really good. I feel like this would be a great gift, like some type of gift for the holidays. If you guys are looking for something new, I highly recommend you smell this. It has like a- um, Do you wanna hear what the internet smells like? What does the internet say? The internet says floral, warm, floral, warm, 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 floral, warm floral, lavender essence, lavender, orange blossom, orange blossom. Did you repeat? Are you 60 minutesing me right I'm now? I'm 60 minutesing you. It musk accord. Musk accord. So musky, floral, warm floral, orange blossom, lavender. It says it's the essence from France with the sensuality of Moroccan orange blossom. Mm, I don't know. It's just, it's just really, it's just good. Oopsie daisy. This totally goes with my YSL perfume. This is actually like the same font as my tattoo. I know I've finished my backyard already, but literally today I feel like we really finished up the finishing touches. Like some plants that I hadn't picked out yet that I just couldn't do. You know how you get a bunch of stuff and then you have to pause. I feel like when you're decorating a space, you put stuff in it that you like and then you pause, you marinate, see how you feel and then you like live, you nest in it and then you finish later on. So I finally picked out some more stuff in the backyard and I got all these big planters that are like, you know, three feet tall, two feet tall, whatever. And then it's like, you have to fill, you're supposed to fill this whole thing with dirt. You know what I mean? And then it's literally, you're not gonna be able to move it. Like I have some plants over on the side of my house like literally like three foot tall planters and they're filled with dirt. They're never moving ever. If we ever sell the house, they're staying, like it's not going anywhere. Anyway, so um, I was looking for something to basically cut the space in half inside. You drop it in and once it kind of like nestles in, you throw your dirt on top, you put your plant in there and then you're good to go. I mean, how cool is that? Badass. Badass. All right, and next thing I wanted to talk about is boots. I have two styles of boots that I love so much. One of them I'm actually wearing right now because I'm already dressed and ready to go. Let me see if I can shimmy my way out of here. So I'm wearing like these black faux leather kind of baggy pants and I threw on my boot and it looks like kind of like my pant is my boot, which I'm kind of here for. These are Vince Camuto and the style I believe is called Kashiana. So those are the black ones that I have. This is the first pair that I bought. It's a warm white color. I don't remember the actual color name. I'm really into like right under the knee at the moment. So these ones are great and I love these because you can wear them with a dress if you wanna wear them with a dress, like a sweater dress, turtleneck dress, which I think is really pretty. But you can also wear them with jeans and I really, really like them. I like the cut of them. I like how they have a little bit of slouchiness right here, pointy toe. They're super comfortable to wear um, throughout the day. I wore these out wine tasting with family and then for the rest of the night as well. And they're very, very comfortable. So I have this color in the warm white, which I think looks pretty with so many different like fall tones. I have the black pair, which I just showed you guys. And then I also have this pair. John called it iced latte. Yeah. 
He said, this is ice latte. This is like a grown, this is grown boot right here. You know what I mean? This is um, the other style of boot that I want to show you guys. This is from the brand Shoots. They have some of my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite high heels. This brand is great. It's definitely not super inexpensive, but it's not designer expensive. You know what I mean? I feel like this is something where it's like, this is a staple classic comfortable heel that I know or boot that I'm gonna wear a lot. So that's why I invested in these. And you know, it's funny, I bought these and I didn't know how to wear them for a while. And now I feel like I wanna wear these all the time. But I love the cut on these. I love the pointy toe. I'm definitely into like a pointy toe moment right now. The heel is very pretty. This is almost like a cowboy boot type cut at the top. I love the print on these. I think it's so pretty. You can wear it with so many different tones, like fall tones. You can wear it with all black. You can wear it with like so many different things. I love them so much that I got the black ones and I did go up a size. So when I buy boots, I buy a size eight. So I had to get these ones too. And these ones are definitely like a lot sturdier feeling than snakeskin print, but I love the texture on these. I think it's so like, I just love the cut of these boots. I love them that they're below the knee. Obsessed. All right, you guys, the last thing that I wanted to talk about today, current obsession is an air fryer. We're actually gonna, I'm gonna be testing it out for you guys today. How about that? How about them apples? Or how about them potatoes, huh? Technically, an air fryer is a convection oven. It basically spins around hot air. That's like the point of it. I have a convection oven. I have two of them in my kitchen, like the double whatever nice. ones. <laughs> What are you, why is that a flex? Here's where, like, I don't know technology wise if it's the exact same thing. Preheating an oven, look, it'll throw me off from actually doing something in the oven, okay? And sometimes when I roast potatoes in the oven, like I do in my air fryer, it dries out my potatoes. And in the air fryer, they're flaky, crunchy, and soft on the inside. And I don't know what's going on there, what the difference is. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take these. This is what I do for breakfast potatoes, okay? Take a red potato. So it has this basket in here. By the way, that's my pants squeaking. Okay, very Ross Geller status there. So now we're gonna take this, close the tiny door. Okay, 400-ish. So when I do a lot of red potatoes, I'll do, I throw it in there for like 20 minutes or so. Tea. You hear that? All right, you guys, so that's it for today's favorites, current obsessions, and some HNS that we had over here. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thank you so much for watching. It's just hot new stuff. Hot new stinks. Hot new... Oops. Poop. <laughs> I'm very squeaky. Where are the rest of my boots, dude? Oh, did you check your butt? You should wear boots. Oh. <sighs> when I walk to the other room and I can't breathe. But uh, where was I going with that? Did I have a point? You usually never do.